Welcome back. Let's move on to the next topic that is AKS user node pool. Stop and start. So let us say we have a deployment server which is not required to run continuously and used to run only in business hours. So we don't need deployment server to be up and running all the time. You can reduce the cluster by scaling all user node pool to zero, but your system pool is still required to run your system workload. So we can just stop user node pool or we can stop AKS cluster entirely. So let's discuss on user node pool stop and start first, and then we will discuss AKS cluster stop and start. So stopping the node pool will stop only agent node while keeping cluster running. It helps in saving compute cost. There are some important points to remember. You can't stop system node pool. Spot node pools are supported. Stop node pools can be upgraded. The cluster and system node pool must be running. Let's head back to portal and see that in action. I am in Azure portal. Let's click on Kubernetes services. I have a AKS cluster running with the name my AKS cluster. Let's click the name of the cluster. Let's click on the node pools. I have two node pools here, node pool one, which is a system node pool and we have a user node pool named as user node pool. Both node pool are running and both node pools are having one worker node. I have cloud shell open into a different tab. Let's run kubectl get nodes command. I can see there are two worker node. First worker node is part of node pool one and second worker node is part of user node pool. Now let's run the command to stop node pool user node pool. az aks node pool stop hyphen hyphen node pool hyphen name user node pool this is the name of my user node pool hyphen hyphen resource hyphen group my resource group hyphen hyphen cluster hyphen name my aks cluster hit enter so this command will stop the worker node this command will take some time let's come back once the node pool is stopped the command is successful let's switch to the other tab and see it from the aks blade let's hit on refresh i can see node pool is stopped under node count, we have 0 slash 0 ready. So that means there is no worker node running at this moment, which is part of user node pool. But my system node pool is still up and running. Let's go back to the terminal and run kubectl get nodes command. I can see one worker node is running. That is basically part of system node pool. Now let's go ahead and start the node pool back. I'll just run azaks node pool start hyphen hyphen node pool hyphen name user node pool hyphen hyphen resource group, my resource group, hyphen hyphen cluster name, my AKS cluster. That will start the node pool. That means my worker node will be started. The command is successful. Let's verify it from AKS blade. I will hit refresh. I can see one slash one worker node is now healthy. Let's go back to terminal, run kubectl get nodes command. The worker node is back. Now let's take another use case where we have a Nginx application running onto this user node pool and then we will stop the node. Let's run kubectl create deployment Nginx image Nginx. So I just created a deployment named Nginx. My pod is now running which is part of replica set and replica set is part of deployment. Let's run kubectl get all. I can see my deployment set, replica set, and pod. Now let's create another pod, which is standalone pod, not part of any replica set or deployment. I will run kubectl run standalone hyphen hyphen image. Let us say nginx kubectl get ports. I can see both the ports are in running state. One pod is part of replica set, which is further part of deployment, and standalone pod is not part of any replica set or deployment. Let's rerun this command with hyphen o wide option that will show you where these ports are running currently. These two ports are running on user node pool. Now at this moment, what if I stop the user node pool? What will happen? Let's go ahead and stop the user node pool and let's see what will happen to these two ports. I will run az aks node pool stop to stop the user node pool. The command is now successful. Now let's go ahead and run the kubectl get ports command to see the port status. kubectl get ports. I can see a single port which is part of deployment, but the standalone port is gone. Let's run kubectl 
get ports hyphen o wide to see where this port is running this port is running on node pool one worker node so that means this port is now transitioned to the system node pool but my standalone port is terminated so always remember when you will stop your user node pool the standalone port will be terminated and application port will be transition to the system node pool considering there is no node constraint mentioned in the deployment right so that's it for this demo in the next lecture we will see as how do we stop whole cluster and what are the pros and cons of doing that thank you